it's time to check out Create Studio Pro, which is a video editor that's actually pretty easy to use. You can animate characters, animate backgrounds, add transitions, add keyframes, and do a whole lot with this, but it's not complex. And that's what I'm going to show you on this video. So let's go jump over there. This is how you're going to be greeted with Create Studio Pro once you download it for Windows or Mac. Now you can get started with creating a new project and you can start from a blank project or from a template. There's several templates available with this and they're really good. There's video ad templates, doodles, characters, scroll stoppers, stories, social media, etc. Just select something that you find interesting and you might want to use and check out the templates. So if I check out this one, it's going to actually download the assets and I can start working with it. Or if I want to check out the whole template library, I can do so also. And there we go, it just loaded it in. Now, what does that do? Well, it added to my timeline this template. If I click play or space bar to check it out, I'll go ahead and click play. There we go. The guy's actually moving and working. Well, let's just say this wasn't what you wanted. I'll go, go ahead and exit and I can view the whole templates from here and I can search through these templates. I can click on them and see how they actually move and animate. And if I like it, and if this is something that I want to customize, I'll go ahead and use this template. In this case, I'll use this one because I find interesting. I like how it flows. I like how it's modern. And I like the character that we can animate and move them around. So like again, again, it added the scenes, scenes in the bottom. So if I click space bar or play, we're going to be able to view it. There we go. You can see how it's flowing on the bottom scene one, and it's going to jump into scene two. Boom. Now everything is drag and drop and editing. So it's not hard at all. So let's just say that I want to edit something from scene one. I'll go ahead and double click on scene one. And now I have all the assets available here for scene one. Let me zoom in here. And we have each one of these layered here. So just like a image editor, same concept goes with video editing. So if I click on any of these, it's going to highlight these characters or assets, images, etc., shapes. So if I click on them, I can move them around. I can animate these. I can change their animation style. So for example, this guy is actually flexing in the beginning. You can see how it says here, flexing muscles or happy. Well, it's doing both. First it's flexing and then he's happy. So let me click play just to show you. So he's flexing his muscles and then he goes into happy. All right, happy mood. Now, what if I don't like that, but I still want to use this character? I'll click on flexing muscles and I have the option to change actions. So these are the available actions for this particular character and we can change it up for right? For example, press ups. I'll go ahead back to the playhead and now he's doing press ups and doing happy. If I want to change happy, I'll go ahead and click on it. If I want to add another action to this, I can go ahead and check out the settings on the right. So for this particular character, I can add a new scene right here or action and at sitting, for example, and it just added it here to the timeline. So it's just as easy as that. And there's a lot of settings for this. For example, the alignment, the settings for this particular one, the properties, the borders, shadows, motion, if I wanna add some motion to this and effects to this. Now, what about the mobile phone? Click on it. And again, we, get, we have the options on the right for each particular one of these. If you don't like the position of the phone, you can go ahead and move it around. Or if you don't like the animation that it has, let me show you, show you the animation. There we go. There's a little diamond here that you can view. That's the animation. So what it just did is this animation, this keyframe is telling it from starting from here, you're going to move away. Now, what if I want to edit this animation? I can drag this to make it so it starts earlier and it takes longer. So it's slower and it takes longer. So just like that. But what if I want to add a fresh animation to something? Let me move this right here. Let me move this guy also. And I'll add a shape. On the right, we have pen, shape, and text. I'll add a shape to this. I'll just add the square one. I'll round off the corners because I don't like square. I like round it off. And I'll move, move this to the beginning of the timeline. And I'll position my head in the beginning. I'll go into add animation, which is again on the timeline section. And there's the position and rotation. So we can add both of these. And let me click play to this. So nothing is going on yet, but what if I move this? Let me make it a bit smaller, move it away. Click, let's click play and now position. See that there? Because that's how I set it. If I want to move this little diamond keyframe, it's gonna take longer to move. There we go, it just moved. 
Now, what if we give it some rotation? So I'm going to click on it there, and I'm going to move it there. Let's go back, click play, and now it has rotation and animation. So it's moving from one position to the second one plus animation to it. So just like that, you would be able to drag anything in there and add some keyframes to add animation. So keyframes are super useful. I mean, I find them super useful because you can do basically anything with it. You can make something really fancy or something really simple like I just showed you. Now, what if I want to edit another scene? I'll go back into the main timeline with this blue bar. Let's go back, check out a timeline, and we can see scene one, which is what we just clicked on. We can view scene two, starting from here. I'll click play, jump to scene two, and we'll find other scenes here. And at each of these would be editable. Now, what if we want to add something new and we want to not work with this template? All right, so on the left, we have our media. We can upload our media and use them from here. We can use Unsplash, Pexels, Pixel Bay, etc., Giphy, and these are huge image libraries that we can use inside of Create Studio Pro. But my favorite is this, the studio. This is where we're going to find characters, backgrounds, doodles, effects, etc. For example, for backgrounds, let's just say that you like this background. Well, I can go ahead and download it for the first time, and then I can use it. If I hover over this, you can see that there's animation inside some of these backgrounds. So for example, I can go ahead and drag it in. There we go. Let's get rid of this. And here's the background. Now, for now, it's on top of everything because obviously we're working with scenes. So in this case, I've added it into the main timeline, which is something I don't want to do. So I'll click delete. I'll open up scene one. There we go. And inside of here, I will add that background. So let's add the background. There we go. Let's go into the timeline. Here it is, space. And let's drag it to the bottom, all the way to the bottom. And there we go. And now it's behind this. Obviously, this is not good looking because it's not meant for this because this template, it's already a nice looking template. And I've just added this for fun, just to show you things that you can do. Or for example, if I want to delete this guy and I want to add another character, I'll go into studio, check out the characters. So let me go into there, all characters. Here we go. So we were looking at a fit guy. Um, what if we find someone who's not fit? Hmm. This guy right here, grandpa, let's go ahead and download it. It could be a fit grandpa, but in this case, he doesn't look fit. But I mean, just in case you want to add one of these characters, you download it for the first time and then we can drag it in. So let's wait for that to download. Okay, there we go. He's ready. Let's drag him inside of here. And now we have grandpa and let's drag him in the beginning of this timeline. Let's go here and on grandpa, we can see that he's by default saying wave. We can change this to something else like funny dance. There we go. If I want to add another scene to this, I'll say mm, holding a card. Okay, so let me click play. There we go, dancing. And then he's gonna change into holding a card. And in the card, you can add something to that. But you can see how easy that was. And I can add some motion to this guy if I want it from right, from left, etc. You can see the motions, how they move right here. So it's super easy to view what you can actually do there. Now that's for that, all right? Let's go back into the timeline. There's also, well, let me get rid of that background because it's kind of distracting. Remove space. I'll leave grandpa there. Let's go back into the main timeline. There's also the transitions to this. So for example, I'll go into the studio. There's doodles, there's effects, there's hands, icons, shapes. There's so many things you can do. This is what makes special Create Studio Pro and they keep adding more and more to this. So for example, if I wanna add a transition to this, I'll go into the transition section. So we can view these scenes right here. And if I wanna add a transition to this, for example, oh, I need to download it first. Let me download it. There we go. And I'll add it into this section. From, from scene one to scene two, it's gonna add that transition. He's, it's barely viewable in this section. You kind of see it on the, on the top left because it's not meant for that. But again, you can add the transitions just like that. Let me click Command Z because I deleted the whole thing. But here's the transition. transition. I mean, I'll stretch it just to see if we can view it. See here on the, on the left, it's building the, the part. But that's how you add transitions. If it was a, a main solid thing, like an, an, another video, you would see those transitions really nice. For music, there's also a music library that you can check out right here. These type of, of categories that we can select from, like B-bloggers, we can just click play, 
get rid you can barely hear that but if we like it we drag it into the timeline right now there's already one because this is actual template it already has it in there and there's the effects for this so for example i want to add some glitching to this i mean let's say add it to scene one see that there obviously that doesn't look good but if you had something like sci-fi some something more modern like tech that would look really nice and there's a lot of these available there like blur like color removal hue rotation etc and there's these components these components are really nice so for example if i want to add a carousel i'll just head it go ahead and drag it here there we go drag it here there we go now let's just say that this was a clean one let's go ahead and remove i'll remove scene one there we go it's clean so now i'm using this carousel let me drag it into the beginning and this is what carousel actually does let me click play it's nice looking right we can drag inside of here images so let's go into media let me download that one go into my files and for example i'll drag this one i'll drag this leaf i'll drag this i don't know this one and you can see that there all right so let me go into media, go back. There's this carousel going on. It's nice, it looks good. If you add good images, right? And let's go see more components. Well, actually for this one, the carousel one, you can choose presets right here. So for example, we have the preset that goes from right to left or from bottom to right. Let me show you this one. Let's go click play. These are really good time savers because it's already moving. It's already a component that's easy to use. There's, a, there's buttons that you can add, there's progress bars, there's camera, there's typewrite, infinite scroll, etc., etc. So a lot of things that you can do with Create Studio. So it's super easy to start editing your videos right away. Now, what happens once you're finished? Well, we need to export this. So we'll go into publish on the top right. We're going to go into publish and we can export the video, a static image or just the audio. And we can do this in MP4, WebM and MOV. MOV. Quality, low, standard, high. Um, this is going to be a bigger file if it's higher because it, it will have more quality. You just select what you want. And the size, we can also change to this. This is 1080p, you can do it up to 4K or whatever re resolution you would like to use. And with last frame or empty frame. Happy audio, apply no audio normalization so it doesn't just go up and down a lot. So it kind of normalizes it. And we can go ahead and add it to Q. Once you start exporting, it'll go into queue and you can keep on editing with, we'll start in a new video if you like. But that is Create Studio Pro. It's super easy to use for anyone. I mean, you can have a virtual assistant start working on this or use it for yourself. If you want something simple, easy to use, and that's actually really good looking because just like you saw there, these are really good looking templates that are really attractive. Well, there you go. I thank you all for watching and I'll see you on my next videos.